from blue polos to blue lab coats and gloves. We headed down to Sacred Heart's laboratory to unmask a common question. What exactly does a mask do? So we teamed up with the hospital's microbiology director, Dr. Rich Davis. This one will be no mask. It's a demonstration of where respiratory droplets go and how they're easy they are to transmit and how a mask is effective at blocking those. That's really the key takeaway. Here's how this demonstration worked. I had a Petri dish in front of my face as if it's another person's face. Then, with and without a mask, I talked. Hey, how you doing? Saying, Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. Coughed. <coughs> and sneezed. <laughs> We also tried coughing with and without a mask from two feet away, four feet away, and six feet away. Dr. Davis put the dishes in an incubator, and we waited 24 hours for our results. So these are the plates that you were interacting with yesterday, with or without a mask. Let's start with the face-to-face -face demonstration. Mask on the left, no mask on the right. Let's go with talking first. With a mask? Oh, that looks good. Talking without a, oh, okay. I'm actually shocked there's any at all. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Next up, singing. Yeah. This was Changes by Tupac, and this was Smash Mouth. Things will never be the same, never be the same, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty similar to talking, but Dr. Davis brought up a good point about one of nightlife's most popular activities. Like karaoke night when that microphone after the night, I'm sure it's pretty gross and wet. So now we've got coughing. So so this was just two, two coughs. Really? <laughs> that's crazy. Remember, all those yellow dots, that's where bacteria grew after the droplets out of my mouth landed there. But those droplets were nothing compared to the ones from sneezing. First, mask on. What? Okay, I'm terrified to look at this one. This is no mask. Ooh! Ooh! Good lord. When I had my mask on, no yellow dots. But when I didn't, there was always something. What this kind of goes to show is that most of those, you know, heavy, fat droplets that are going to come out of your mouth, that are going to have bacteria, they're going to have viruses, potentially, you know, they're going to get caught and not go forward into, you know, the space in front of you. It was the same case for the social distancing demonstration. So yesterday I was standing right here. <coughs> no mask with a mask. Mm. Four feet. You can see it's less, but still pretty prevalent. Six feet. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just one little, one or two few up there. So there really is that distance difference where the droplets that you're producing by coughing are pretty much, a lot of them are falling out of the air. To me, I think we're coming into a new reality where masks fit into that very social conscious paradigm. You do simple things that everyone can do. It's not going to be 100% effective, but if we all do it, it's going to definitely make a difference in preventing things from spreading one person to another. 